This is not financial advice. I am not a financial professional and it is for entertainment purposes only. You can't handle the heat of these hot stocks. Get out of the kitchen. Comment below if you know what that's a reference to. So fair warning, this is about to get a little political. So if you don't have the appetite, this is your cue to switch off. But I've been watching how Elizabeth Warren, AOC, Joe Biden, and the rest of the Democratic Party are fervently pushing student loan debt forgiveness, a seemingly noble endeavor to free poor, innocent, former student debtors from the shackles of impossible monthly payments. And it seems like they're gonna be pretty successful, or they're gonna be successful pretty soon. Here's my two cents. And again, I wanna emphasize, I wanna re-emphasize, this is not financial advice, but my message to parents who have saved a substantial amount for your kid's college education. You actually started saving even before little Mike or Molly was born. You forwent vacations, you ate cheap food, you drove that beat up Corolla your whole adult life just so that you can scrape together money for your kid's college funds. My message to you is spend it. Spend it on an exotic getaway. Okay, so maybe not that due to certain travel restrictions at the moment, but spend it on luxury goods, that Tesla that you've always had your eyes on. Order it, exchange it for the finest grade Beluga Sturgeon Caviar at $24,000 a kilo. Not 2,400, but 24,000 with three zeros and not in units of Vietnamese dongs, but US dollars. My point being, spend it on anything other than what it was intended for, your kids' college expenses. My message to kids who, who are in college, borrow the maximum, borrow the maximum amount they will let you. And don't you dare, don't you dare go toiling in the dining hall kitchens, washing dirty dishes while your classmates are enjoying themselves shooting zombies in Resident Evil or whatever video games kids are playing these days. Don't you go working extra to chip away at that loan. And my message to former students who have any kind, any, any amount of student loan debt, don't you pay one more cent. Why? Because all that's going to be canceled. See, why be a dummy and pay off your loans or responsibly and diligently pay off your loans when you can have other hardworking taxpayers do it for you. Taxpayers who may not have gone to college themselves, taxpayers who refrained from going on vacation, subsisted on beans and rice, sacrificed their health, time, and social lives to pay back what they owed. And why do that when you can wait for the Democrats in power to force them to pay, not theirs, but your loan off? Again, I wanna reemphasize, this is not financial advice, it's not fiscal advice, it is for entertainment purposes only.